So these later drilled spring barley crops where there was a delay from those February drillings and we, we ended up drilling the crops in, uh, in, in March and April when the weather allowed, they're, they are heading towards the end of tillering like the field I'm stood in. As we get to this, this stage, then we think about the, the, the T1 fungicide, but also like this crop I'm in, there's a number of broadleaf weeds, etc., that are gonna need dealing with as well. So we could be heading into fairly complex tank mixes with herbicides, fungicides, and potentially growth regulation. We mustn't forget nutrition. And we mustn't forget all the nutrients that are important. It's very easy just to go out and just put some straight, straight manganese on. However, things like copper and zinc still have a big function in uh, spring barley and spring wheat, no different to the winter crops. They're still there to help maximize the number of grains and, and really important, particularly if we've got a crop that's not tillered particularly well um, due to late drilling and, and the poor weather, we then need to maximize the number of grains per year. Um, the fundamentals are the same. One other key nutrient to think about would be magnesium. And around 70% of barley samples that we test at the lab are deficient in magnesium. With this complex tank mix and many things going on, then it really does play into the hands of a multi-nutrient product like Yaravita Gramitrel. So that we are not lacking in any of those nutrients and then we can maximize our yield. If we take a spring malting barley contract of say 210 pounds a ton, an application of Gramitrel, you're gonna need around 80 kilos of extra yield per hectare to pay for that. From some split field work we did in Scotland versus farm standards, we got around 0.35. Um, from our replicated trials the last two years, we got around 0.2, so 200 kilos a, a hectare. Um, so our recommendation for those spring barley crops is two litres of Gramitrel in with that T1 fungicide. 